hi naturals welcome to the channel please before you continue watching kindly give this video a thumbs up before you leave and if you haven't subscribed please hit that red button that says subscribe on your interface and please share this video with your family and friends if you enjoyed watching it i also have a second channel the mass space which i'll be spelling out for you on the screen you can subscribe to that channel and get to know me more about my personal life lastly please ensure you watch this video to the end as all instructions will be stated towards the end of this video in today's video we are going to be making a potent hairspray a leave-in conditioner you are not to wash this out to begin grab a well sterilized jar just like mine my very first ingredient is bay leaves bay leaf is used universally in indian cooking usually accompanied by cinnamon and cloves bay leaf leaves any dish it is used in incredibly fragrant it is one of the most nutritious spice to be included in your jollof rice but are you aware that you can use bay leaf to beautify your hair here are a few benefits of bay leaf for your hair they get rid of dandruff, shinier hair, they fight against lice, they protect against fungal infection and scalp inflammation. Most importantly, they boost hair growth. No matter the type of hair problem you may have, which could be dandruff, hair loss, split ends, frizzy hair, damaged hair, premature grain, hair breakage, greasy hair. I want you to know that this hair tea is what you need to combat all of that. So for this recipe, I'm just going to be using three leaves of my bay leaf, which I'm going to be tossing inside my jar. Make sure to use a glass jar or glass bowl. Do not use anything plastic because plastic may interfere with this tea so my next ingredient is cloves these are crushed cloves please feel free to use clove buds if that's what you have as you already know this is the season for cloves i'm sure you have heard of the benefits of this amazing spice countless time on this channel because i'm definitely not going to bore you with that so for this recipe i used one tablespoon of cloves kindly listen carefully for the measurements the proportion used for this recipe most of you always ask me what i already mentioned in the video and i kind of wonder if you actually listen to me while i'm mentioning all of this i don't know so i used one tablespoon of crushed cloves yours might be clove board so my next ingredient is hibiscus flowers if you have fresh hibiscus flowers please go ahead and use that but for me i'm going to be using dried hibiscus flowers and this is what they look like you guys already know by now that i love hibiscus so much i'm going to be using three flowers like so for this recipe remember the more flowers you use the more staining your tea the lesser you use the more diluted your tea so it doesn't stain so i'm going to be using 500 ml worth of hot water for this recipe make sure your water is very hot then after pouring my hot water i stirred to combine all the ingredients now i'm going to be covering that to infuse with foil paper do not use the plastic that came with this jar make sure to use foil paper because that plastic will interfere with the tea once i'm done covering that up the infusion process begins i'm going to be infusing mine for 12 hours please note that you can infuse yours from 8 to 12 hours 8 hours minimum 12 hours maximum anything above 12 hours this will start fermenting so you don't want that if you were observant enough from the beginning part of this video you will notice that my hair is darker than it used to be that's the effect of hibiscus 
that's why i love hibiscus a lot and if you know that you're already above 20 years old start using hibiscus flowers i've told you this in other of my videos hibiscus is very very important if you would want to maintain your hair color so after infusion this is what i have i uncovered my foil and sieved this using my strainer and a clear bowl to collect my hairspray you guys already know the drill but i will explain the next thing is for me to transfer that into my applicator bottle i'm going to be transferring some and also storing some on another container where i'll be adding preservatives for this in my spray bottle i'm going to be storing it in my refrigerator for only five days my point is that you can only store this in the refrigerator for five days after five days it will be very bad to use for your hair my hair was in a bun i made sure i tucked in my ends using my scrunchies make sure to always use scrunchies to tie your hair or to put your hair in a bun reason being that rubber bands can actually snag your hair and cause excessive breakage so use scrunchies they are mired on your hair or scrunchies made with satin satin materials while working in sections i began by spraying the hair tea from my root to the tip because hair grows from the root and this tea need to get to my root and also to help protect my scalp from dandruff and all the hair issues that may arise on the scalp so after i'm done hydrating each section i will twist that up and move over to the next section just so you know this is a leave-in spray you just use it to hydrate your hair dampen your hair a bit and then allow it to sit in your hair and dry up you can actually seal in the moisture with your hair butter cream or hair oil if you want this to work do not rinse it out just apply it on your hair two to three times a week you're not to use it to drench your hair except you're using it as the final rinse on your wash days now if you're to use this as the final rinse on your wash day make sure to use it to drench your hair and then leave it in your hair for 30 minutes to an hour make sure to shampoo and condition first before using this as the last process then after use and waiting for 30 minutes to an hour depending on your time then rinse off with water that brings me to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching if there is anything you did not understand in the video please let me know in the comment section below and i will explain please do not forget to like comment share this video because this will help us reach more audience please stay safe out there and i will see you shortly bye